What did he do, Michael? I f up. I f up. We should be back there. Yes. Over here. Can and we, we gotta make just me? do it. Go for it. Yes, of course there's people coming. Okay, well, Just stay on the, we'll stay on the right side, side. Yes, yes. and go slow. Turn yeah. your lights on. Go on the four-way flashes. I'm a moron. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Oh, there's a trucker coming. Where's he going? This, okay. At an, at an undisclosed location. <laughs> Near Selena. Let him slip away. <laughs> okay. Do not enter. Okay. Go left, please. Good job, Mike. <laughs> Good job. I just can't help myself. He cannot. Loves. For the love of God, let's go to loves. Yes. For the love of loves, let's go to loves. Okay, we made it alive. For now. For now. Okay, for now. Yeah, fueling up. Um, it's the last stop in 108 miles. And then it's not the best stop. It's not. It's stop for a week. Now we're running out of time, Mike. Running out of time. We gotta get the speed up. I don't care. I'm, not, I'm old. When it's time to pee, it's time to pee. Uh, Let me get a nice shot of you peeing from behind I the, don't know. mountain. No. Go in front of that mountain. Oh. Right, was you good to go? I'm good to go, because I just went. <laughs> Check our speed on gauges. 50 miles oil pressure. 170, 14 volts. I have renew it. Uh, 75, 80 miles an hour. Fifth gear. It's all right. Make it a mile. We are 46 minutes away. I'd like to do a special shout out to Bear Breaks. As you can tell from my voice, Michael's triggered something in me. He almost just rear ended someone. He never even came close. Bear Breaks are what, Mike? Bear Breaks are great in emergencies. Oh my god. Look at the traffic. We're right in rush hour now. We're in like Salt Lake City rush hour. My back here is going to start getting turning into dreadlocks soon, so I'm ah, slowly becoming like you. What's wrong with your voice, buddy? <laughs> you scared the shit out of I yelled at you because you're an aggravating uh, driver at times. Just another day in the life. Okay, we're off to uh, Provo, Utah, where the guys from Speed Hunt gave us these gauges, this tack, our speed box that makes my Speedo work through a GPS. This one. Yes, this is the one. Like, would you say you're an easy person to deal with, though? No. Geneva tool repair. Drop you off. You need your tool repair. Okay, Keep going. We Here we go. Quarter mile almost. Take a left. Okay. Blair can probably hear you. Cursing you. This guy's blocking a mess. Screw us up right now. What's that noise? Those are the brakes. That is not a good sound. Yeah, it is. It's not bad. We just got to figure it out. We'll check them, see if the hubs are warm. Sure is. Is that square body? Yep. Where are we going? Uh, not this left, the next left. Next, not this. Okay, we're not going here. We Take a left here. here. Take a left here. Go into the parking lot over here. Oh, there's there's Blair. Blair. Okay. There we go. Success. You are a menace. I am a menace to society. Okay, I'm gonna discharge. Holy f okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, look who it is. No wonder they have the world land speed record here. Everybody thinks they're on the flats, man. Unbelievable. Michael. How's it going? <laughs> Good, how you doing? Chris, Chris. Hey. Before you ran yeah, away. Yeah, I'm out of Salt Lake. Oh, okay. Yeah, Michael. Michael. There is way too many out. people here going way too Hey, that's Utah. Holy you got to get out of that left just, lane. Wow, wow. <laughs> what up, Mike? Hey. Devin. Oh, glad to meet you. Yeah, good to I'm meet Mike, you. I'm Jesse. Hi, glad to meet you. Good to meet, nice to meet you. Oh.
Before you I'm run away, Mike, you want to get a picture. Oh, hi there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we, wired, we did the wiring harness Tuesday, half a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, put in the speed box Thursday night. We assembled the car Friday morning. We drove 4,000 yeah, yeah. kilometers. Right on. I was not skip the beat, man. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, we scratched did you see any of the YouTube yeah, with yeah, the blizzard yeah. and the, oh, everything except the <laughs> thunder and lightning storm? No, it looks Me? good, Solo. Yeah. Well, we had lots of chips everywhere. But cool, man. Still, it was meant when we left, but I mean, you don't put 10,000 yeah. kilometers on at 80 miles an hour right. without getting cool. some road damage. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, guys? We are so impressed with you. Uh, we were in, well, we we drove it across Canada, came across at Detroit, and then drove it all across America, too, so. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's like, it's over 6,000 miles so far. We've still got 1,500 to go, but we're almost home. Wow. And I was try, really trying to get here, so we lived. Anyway, we stopped at Bryce Canyon. Holy I saw I, that. I cried. I, I, I cried. It was so beautiful. I did, too. The first time you see that. You're just, holy f it's not beautiful. Gosh. It just yes. and makes you wonder what it makes you wonder what you're doing to the planet, right? Yeah. That's what I said. We said, "Hey guys, hopefully our grandkids can enjoy this. Let's smarten yes. up." Yes. They just got to figure it out and get the hydrogen going, so we can all run on water and still keep our big blocks. Right? I know the technology's there. Exxon probably owns them. Oh, sure they're not doing it to us. Right? No, no. There's no money in selling people water. They can yeah. get it from the tap. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Even Canada is like 10 bucks a gallon for premium, 94. I've only seen 93 here once, like mm -hmm. in 10 days. Of like, like where the hell's all the good gas, man? Where do you ship it all to Japan or where? Do we, I mean, we cannot <laughs> find it in Canada. Every Chevron is 94. Yeah, really? But I've seen 93 here once and not even 94. I don't know where it is, yeah. but I mean, we couldn't find it. Yeah, we don't have any 93 out here. There's one gas station in Provo that has it. That's yeah, but it. I mean, every Chevron has 94 octane in Canada. Yeah. That's huh. why we stop at Chevron, right? Because the 502 likes the octane, right? Really thank you guys. But like I said, amazing product. Yeah, no problem, that speed man. box is just yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, actually, I wish I didn't have it because now I know how fast I'm going when I'm speeding. <laughs> we came out of Detroit and we were doing a live and somebody said, punch it. Bam. We're doing 110 miles an hour. Then we hit a bump, I flattened the rim, put a three inch divot in it. Worst roads in the whole trip were just outside of Detroit. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, the whole city's crumbling. <laughs> yeah, I guess their infrastructure is yeah, too, definitely. but. So anyway, my buddy's got a rim shipped uh, out from LA to uh, Vegas. As soon as we got there, I had the tire switched oh, over and cool. Blair's packing a couple spares here. You guys want to look under the hood? Yeah, let's yeah. see it. Yeah. This car has no power steering. <laughs> you want to see something simple? Well, that's as simple as it came in 68. Wow. Very cool. And you probably recognize every single part under the hood. There's an air cleaner, there's some spark plug wires, yeah, there's right. a temperature gauge, there's an oil sender, there's a distributor, light harness, and that's it. That's the way I like them, simple. Very cool. Oh, there's a, oh, that's probably goop. <laughs> I've owned it, I've owned it 40 years. It just keeps getting faster and yeah. safer. Nice. Now listen to this sound. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Way good. <laughs> and you know what's cool about this car? It was actually made in Canada. We used to make cars. Really? And they made like 2,800 SS3, 396 oh. Chevelles in Canada in 68. So wow. it's pretty special to my heart. So. When did you actually like purchase it? 40 years ago. I okay. purchased it 40 years ago. I had some unfortunate run-ins with the local constabulary. I tore it apart. I sold it. I bought it back 15 years later like a buddy of mine bought it. I needed lawyer money. He, he traded it for the guy that sided his house and then 15 years later he phoned me back and said, Mike, your car is still in pieces and it's for sale. I went and bought it back for and the guy never registered it so it was still in my name. So it came wow. home, right? That's if great. you love them, let them go. If it was meant to be. Well, <laughs> exactly this one right. came back and 20, 22 years ago, we, we, Connor and a buddy of mine restored it. While I was working back then, it cost me 50,000 Canadian. Now it's probably got, got last time we just did the, did the running gear, it was 40. New 502 crate, new Tremec, new clutch, uh, bell housing, scattered shield, uh, new rear end, four wheel disc brakes. 
cost of doing everything has just gone through the, through the roof. I mean, Big since time. COVID, every piece we buy is doubled. Gallon of Bondo's doubled, sandpaper's doubled, paint's doubled. I mean, I don't know how it is down here, but up there, because everything we get comes from you guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just bend over, you're from Canada, <laughs> right? So, but the gauge is the price was right, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the price is definitely yeah. right. So, so. <laughs> so hopefully you guys have gotten your, your value out of them, because they've, yeah. they've stood us in good stead. No, it's been great. We actually have another fuel one for you, so you don't run out of gas anymore. Really? Yeah. Inside, yeah. okay. I forgot it in there. I'll have to go grab it for okay, you. Okay, well, let's go look. Did you Blair want another speed box, too? Yes, Blair. Yeah. Me, well, I'd love to get him I was speed trying to talk box. to him about it earlier, but well, he was kind of like, oh, I'm never going to be able to put it no, in. No, 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 no. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> uh, where's all the ones I want for my next bill? Oh, those are pretty. Those are way too high tech. Hey, those are the aviator. I like those. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those are not yeah. Yeah. So see, I don't know if my, oh, like, we do have power to, to my gauge. I don't know if the float stuck. So does this have a float or how does it work? Yeah, that's got everything you need to hook it up. Oh, no, it doesn't have the center. Oh, the float? Yeah. Oh, center. Okay, yeah, because, but anyway, okay. Maybe the center. Oh, it could be a nice little desk or Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. We're going to put, uh, well, whatever, I'll just put another little bracket yeah. and I'll hang it next yeah. and, and then we'll sure. see if it works, yeah. but very cool. Yeah, man. So, um, this car now, you have a full center or something in there, don't you? It's got a new one. Well, yeah, well, center. I mean, like, there's a brand new, like, when we turn it on, it goes to full, but we've never dropped the tank in 20 years, so it could be the float okay. stuck because it always reads mm-hmm. full. But I mean, I know the gauge yeah. works because you turn it on it, but it goes oh, up to gotcha. full all the time. But my buddy Tad said, check your ground. We just, yeah. <laughs> we never had time. <laughs> Electrical for sure. Right? right? We never check had time. The, well, yeah. especially on a, well, yeah. I mean, it's a 56 year old car. Definitely. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in that driving across, across the prairies, man, the salt, and, and like that thing, it made me cry when mm-hmm. we, like after day two, was covered in salt and grunge and mud and. Yeah. Right? We were really second guessing Blair's decision that we should drive across two countries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had dinner with this guy. What? We had dinner with this guy, the guy who built this. Did oh, we? Really? Yeah. He's somewhere around here, too. Greg Stanzello. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. down in Southern Utah. Down in oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. So cool. We met so many oh, people, sure. I yeah. can't keep yeah. track, but yeah. Yeah. you know the coolest thing? You, you guys are all young, but you ever heard a guy named Phil Rossi? Mm-hmm. Paul Rossi. I don't think so. Okay, back in the 70s, he was the last factory-sponsored Chrysler direct connection drag racer. Okay. He had a Challenger that was yellow and orange, and he won oh, Pikes sorry. Peak four times mm-hmm. back around the late 80s and 90s. Okay. And I gave him a ride to the track to hang out with his Challenger in my 68 Chevelle. So anyway, it was just a cool thing. Oh, I mean, cool. the guy's a Mopar legend, like a yeah. friggin' legend, right? Right. But anyway, I mean, how many guys have won Pikes Peak four times? Yeah, definitely. That's well, this cool. guy did it. I mean, now he's 82. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looks like he's 52. <laughs> like he says, his hair color comes in a bottle. But anyway, <laughs> still, cool. but it was just you guys, cool. You guys met him? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, oh, okay. like I said, we, I took him. Yeah, yeah, I gave him a ride. He was staying oh. at the same uh, casino as we were. And I said, yeah, well, can you lower yourself to Ryan? And then we filmed him getting out, right? So anyway, <laughs> I can blackmail him now. Mm-hmm. World well, famous guys are back raising right? guys shows up in Vegas. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, it was pretty cool. Do you want so, to show you the factory? Yes, I'd like a couple. Yeah, I know. So it's I know. Early. He's the warehouse manager. Yeah, hey, how's so, it going, yeah. man? You're better off yeah, so. showing you than me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so what's your thing here? You're so just I, PR? You no, just I, give I, away? Well, you. it's a small <laughs> company, so we kind of all do a lot of things, you know, yeah, but I actually do all the technology stuff. So this side of the warehouse is mainly in production for industrial tachometers. Uh, which what like airplanes, cat, like equipment? Like, uh, uh, yeah, just heavy equipment. Heavy equipment. Okay, equipment, so you guys yeah. do. You don't just do automotive, is what yeah, you're not saying. just automotive stuff. Yeah, uh, we also do oven gauges, temperature oven gauges, <laughs> no, as well. <laughs> so that's not a finished one right now, this but like, hey, do you got a turkey thermometer? You know, <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Can I see that? Yeah, there you go. Very nice. So right but now, but they don't say Rust Bros. I like I like the fact. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what this kind of the part of the warehouse is just kind of a, a standardized uh, line for making these these gauges that we make all the time. Um, and so with this side, this is where all the wiring happens, all the harnesses that we make for all the yeah the pressure gauges and temperature gauges. Well, um, did, did you guys watch the watch the, the video when we were actually in, in, like doing the install on the speed box? Yep. I mean, the I had it tested before I gave it that. <laughs> wow, I could have done that. That's yeah, so easy, yeah, yeah. right? I mean, oh, we were pushing sure. you guys where we could. I'm starting to talk about it. He says, yeah, it works. What the <laughs> f- 
Peter works. I haven't even looked at it yet. Right? That Maybe quick. Maybe laugh so hard. Well, it was that quick and that easy, right? I mean, mm-hmm. old guys are scared of wiring. Yeah. That's why we hired the guy. But I mean, that guy, he took a G-Wagon, Mercedes. They took 290 pounds of wire out of it and converted it into an electric G-Wagon. It was a SEMA last year, but oh, wow. I, was, I never even looked at it because yeah. we're not looking at electric cars, but I mean, for him to wire a car, that was just, <laughs> I close my eye, but I didn't know. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, it was just cool. I mean, and totally, totally easy. All of the installs, were, I mean, all the gauges work, all the lights work. I mean, the guy, I don't like wiring, but this guy, that's that's what he does. Right. So. Yeah. Okay, continue, right. shut up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> right. I'm gonna yeah. bottle. Okay. Um, in here we have kind of have a machine that kind of cuts out all of our windows out. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah. So it just so is like like is is that a hydrate plastic? Is it black sand? What is it? So this is a polycarbonate. Yeah, kind of like a polycarbonate uh, material that we use. We have an anti-fog material that uh, helps so it doesn't fog out in yeah 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 in the weather. So. Um, so you guys just buy it in sheets, put it here, and then depending what you run, yeah, it just cuts the circles. Yeah, it just cuts circles out. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that, that way helps streamline everything in it because, like I said, we make everything in house. Yeah. And so, well, like I said, we were just at the, at the speed tech shop, and they they get their raw forgings of the spindles, and they've got them so they get like you can do a left or a right. So they just get the raw forging, they put it in a four-axis CNC machine, and in 20 minutes it turns out two spindles. Depending left or right, they just cut the one side off or cut the other side off, and it was just said, but they sell them to everybody, right? Because they use the C7 hubs in them. It was pretty oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Here you want to see how let's watch it work. Well, I better not raise it up. Blair still hates us because we anyway. <laughs> he was it was a cool thing and we got in there and we totally forgot Blair was hanging out outside because he yeah. showed up late behind us. But uh, we have a car lift just in case we go and walk and work on a car. They want fourteen thousand, eighteen thousand. Yeah, we sometimes work on the little scooter there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Does that thing have a speedo and a roller pressure gauge? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, come up here. This is where the main production happens. So it's up the gauge as far as the circuit board. Sambles on, uh, check, checks out all the wiring, make sure everything's working before you ship it out. Quality yeah, control. Yeah, quality control, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, that looks expensive. Yeah, so this right. thing's got three different heads that basically it goes through and it goes like lightning fast. It's just going back and forth, just picking yep. up each individual part and throwing it on the circuit boards. I wish we had it going because it's, it's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, crazy. Well, that's like that CNC machine. They, the guys turned it on and it just, like it's got like 50 different operations yeah. so the thing's just changing bits like the computer just oh okay yeah, so basically yeah. oh yeah look how complicated it starts out with nothing on it and then we have it print gets it completely that's like a photo cell isn't it yeah, that so is that's that's LCD LCD. Screen. So oh, okay that's, that's the, the screen odometer. all right because see yeah. mine are all analog this yeah, 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 right I, I like old school yeah. you guys yeah. doing both right yeah connor's is all digital right he likes all the little lights and <laughs> kids what do they know i just like keep it simple stupid right like no fuel gauge. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, every three hours we we only ran out once in six thousand miles. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it is. Okay. Three fill ups a day for like fifteen. You know, forty forty fill ups. We only screwed up once. It wasn't all yeah. Mike's fault, so. Yeah. Yeah. So once once it's uh, soldered and everything, it, it gets programmed. It comes here, and this is where the assembly happens. Um, so depending on what options they selected, whether. They want a specific pointer, so we have a variety of different pointers. All right, so they can get um, a, like a green one or a red one or yeah, whatever. Yeah, green, right red, black, different pointer caps as well they can choose from. And so all that kind of happens right here. That's why it's custom gauges. Built, built to your specs. What are these ones for? Like that's, like 12, that's like all in one, eh? Yeah, this is the quad. International yeah. Harvester. Yeah. And so, yeah, we have a lot of... Uh, is that for a tractor, a combine, or like a what? You know, we never know most of the time what kind of vehicle they're Or they just into. say they this kind, is what we yeah, want. Yeah, that's kind of what they want, and then we just ship it out. Yeah. So, I mean, which side of the, of the industry like you guys do, do more work for? The automotive or the... Oh, for the sure the automotive, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so... So, I mean, the guys, so we started out with automotive, and then that just happened as a sideline? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, hey, you build a better mousetrap, the world comes <laughs> to you, right? Yeah, that's exactly. Very cool. Yeah, so once that's happened, then we'll place the bezel they, they selected, put the window, it goes through testing. We'll test every gauge that comes through us um, that we build, so that way we would for sure know that it's, it's and working. it's working, so yeah. when we come, we plug it in, we know if it's not working, it's our fault, not yours. <laughs> As yeah, yeah we, we, we hope diagnose if something is yeah, yeah. wrong, so. Um, and then it goes through here. We don't have, we already shipped everything out for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
but usually they're boxed up and uh, I just go over everything with quality control to make sure everything's in there that they want it. So. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Well, I'm glad you guys stayed, stayed around. I mean, we tried to make it earlier, but just... Yeah. We never realized once we got to the Bryce Canyon that it was 20 miles an hour, right? It was actually kind of cool slowing down the... I mean, like I said, I've never... I mean, my car will do 80 miles an hour all day, 90 miles an hour, but it just... We're not used to driving that in six lanes of traffic and people... Like, it's just like, holy beep, you know what I mean? Like, right. It's nice to get on the back road. Oh, we're only doing 65. This is kind of cool. So we actually missed a turn and we came up the back way, kind of. Mm -hmm. Through happened. Junction. Yeah, through Junction. Oh, okay. So, I mean, we, I just yeah, missed a turn. Oh, we can yeah. keep going this way. So we just did 85 and a 65 just to catch up, right? But anyway, I mean, knock on wood, we haven't been pulled over yet, so... Well, right on, man. Really appreciate yeah. you guys sticking yeah, around. Right yeah, appreciate yeah, you. yeah, make sure Blair's happy. Give him his feed box. Yeah. He said, he's going he to he's gonna put it in. We'll make sure. He's too kind. I don't need it. It's all right. I'll never it's put okay. it in. It's okay. Give it to me. I'll make sure it goes don't in his give car. It to him. No, no, give it to me. Blair, I'll, I'll give let it to you know you. when I need no. one. I'll no, no, give it to me now. I will take it. No, no, no. That's not right. Blair, would you like to bank one for later? Is that what you're saying? Two for me, none for you if you don't want it. Oh, yeah, we do have a close-up, but we need, need, need a candle. Chevy, like old Chevy, 1960 Chef's okay. Sand delivery. I like a, is it thread on, most likely? Where? I don't know. Google it. Google it. It's a 60 GM sedan delivery. What do you think came from? Yeah, 1960 Chef. Oh, like yeah, it's a, yeah. it's a, uh, so we got this. We saw like a Del Rey two-door panel. Hey, maybe it's a clip. Could be a clip. I'm not. I'm not sure. Like I mean, yeah, my, sure. my stuff is all That's in the mid-60s, right? Yeah. 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 It might be. Yeah. 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 Ye
still giving? Still giving. Said Utah is one beautiful state. Where are we, Mike? I think we're at Double D Auto Parts. Double D Lincoln. Pull right in. Where are we? Go to the building. Oh, wait. Maybe it's over there. Over there, over there. Over there. Cool. Holy f How's it going, Mike? Beat. How's it going? Yeah. We've been 12 hours together. Yeah, yeah. how's it going, yeah. guys? So uh, then, uh, <clears throat> this is Hoover. He actually watches the show all the Hoover time. down. <laughs> hey, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Yeah, it's awesome to meet you. Fox, so how long has this wrecking yard uh, been here? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm Dave. Hey, this is my boss. This is your place? Yeah. Wait on, so did your dad start it or did you no, start no, it? No, no, I started it. When? Oh, about 17 years ago. And how many cars you got? No, I got cars all over. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I just got rid of 600. <laughs> I feel your pain, man. I, 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 I don't know if I've got 600, but I've yeah. well, if you, everything out in the parts yard, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm sure I've got 600. Wow, well, where do where do you suggest we go? What are those ones sitting for? Just one sure yard art up top there? Or like that? Uh, Jeremy set them up there. It's kind of a so people bacon. can't buy them. Yeah, well, just. <laughs> You know, well, pe people pull in here. To the was that a yard. marmot? You guys got marmots here? Yeah, yeah, we got marmots. Yeah, we used to have them until one of my guys went and shot them all. When I sold the wrecking yard, I was pretty choked. We went down there and plugged them all. It was stupid. Oh. But they would yeah. everywhere. Like we oh, had yeah. hundreds of them. Just yeah. everywhere. We've, we've got them all over. It's not as bad as pack rat. Yeah. We used to make the gag because they just eat meat. Yeah. I mean vegetables. Yeah. Who's SS? That's mine. Is it a real one? Yeah. 1966. 396 four yeah. year automatic. It's a four speed car. We've done an LS swap yeah. in it. Well, that one's got a 502 in it. Nice. Yeah, good. Okay. So, does that mean you guys are going to go out and race? No. <laughs> I was racing just getting here. Everybody in this state drives like a <laughs> maniac. Holy <laughs> I'm doing 90. I'm still getting past. Uh, Little old ladies, grannies. Wah! No wonder you guys have the salt flats here. Everybody thinks they're racing for the land speed record. It's insane. Well, and we don't have any racetracks here, so we have to race on the highway. Mm. Well, where's where's the salt flats by Salt Lake City? It's, uh, if you go to Salt Lake and you go Not east west. or you west. I think uh, I-80 okay. towards uh, Nevada. So why the f are the big, I mean, is this a popular place here for stuff or is just people come here because the stuff's here? Well, they hired me three years ago to sell parts out there like normal car parts that's boring yeah yeah i know and but that's so, where the uh, money is like all of my buddies they sell new truck parts yeah they make a fortune because yeah. new trucks are 140 grand and people right. can't afford them yeah. so yeah. when people got to keep there that's where the, that's where the money is right, right. right. i mean how many people come to buy parts for trans Ams? uh yeah. i do everything online yeah yeah well there you go once right. you're on the internet we, we, we do get a few local people that kind yeah. of are familiar with what yeah, we're yeah. doing and but uh, otherwise, it, it's all online. I mean, basically, you guys, if you find them, you, you snag them, right? Prices, yeah, right? We went all over the country. We've been back to New York. We bought 17 cars out of New York. Good ones. Brought them here. They were rare. In fact, he still has one. It's not here, but it's a 71 Charger RT, Mr. Norm, six pack automatic, curious yellow car. Blair's Bob. Blair, what was a Mr. Norm car that you did for Lyle? 70. Oh, I don't know. It was a. Factory Petty Blue 70 Mr. Norm race car. They just did a patina finish on it and it sits in uh, Lyle's collection, right? So uh -huh. It doesn't drive it. I mean, they didn't restore it. They just fixed the rust and matched the blue and uh -huh. the patina. Can we, Why don't you yeah, give us this, a... This is a full restoration that's going on on mine. It's a curious oh, yeah. yellow car. Oh, yeah. The, uh, I sold the 71 uh, Duster to a guy. 340, four-speed, curious yellow. I mean, right now, I've got 271 Super Bs that were both uh, 340 grabber cars. I sold the one, but I kept one, so... Mm -hmm. well, this car here came out of Canada about a year ago. It's got 20,000 original miles on really? it. I mean, but nobody wants it, do they? Well, you're right. That's I, mean, I know, but... I, I, I'm kind of a derby guy. I'm a oh, really okay, derby yeah. guy. Well, this is and, a big boat. And, and so this, yeah. this really fits in my style. Look at those, like, look at those factory rims. I've never seen rims like that. Yeah, they're, they're rally wheels. They're, uh, 
Well, you, you can get them, but they're, they're pretty rare. No, I, like I said, I've just never seen them with them caps. Like oh, it, yeah, they didn't come with those caps. No. We, we got that off of Astrovan. Okay, I was going to say, I've just never seen them. There's, uh, there, there's, there's one uh, one run of Astrovans that, that came with the rally wheels. Yeah, and, uh, the, the, the wheels look like these, but they're not the same, but yeah. the, the caps fit. fit. What's, the, what's this thing around the 350? Oh, yeah. Just, uh, uh, yeah, it's a 350. This, this thing is just a base thing. This was given away at a rally or something oh, yeah. back in 76. Well, it'll give uh, some damage. They got good frames. Yeah. <laughs> so, so did you race most of your cars? It's or? a beautiful car. Uh, I, I, I had this down there and, and raced it. It's got an LS swap in it. Yeah, what's it deal. pushing? The what? What's it pushing for horsepower? Uh, you know, I've never put, had it on a dyno. I got the front tires off the ground down there. Well, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. <laughs> I was pretty... <laughs> Turbo on it or just a straight... No, no, no it's straight. Uh, it, I, <coughs> I, I think it's just got a tune on it and headers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Let her rip. I'm like, oh, well, we'll <coughs> do a tour of your yard. I can see all sorts of cool looking... Where do you want to start? You want to start with the adjuster? 66. Is that a, <coughs> is that a factory paint car? It sure is. Yeah. I have the uh, fender tag hidden in my uh, desk. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want that going 66? Yeah. That one's more than meets the eye. Comet. I actually had a, I had a 66 Cyclone rag we just sold. Oh, yeah. 351 Cleveland, all brand new. And dusty. So that you engine is racing this. Cool. No, I want to sell it. Yeah. It's the wrong brand. We do Ford and or we don't do Ford. We do oh, more Ford. Right right. well, did, tra did you trailer most of them, or you truck them? We had to trailer just because we took so many. Yeah, we yeah, took, yeah, 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 yeah. We took a bunch in our group, and so we ended up trailering them all. And look, I I thought that I had totally lost on the auto uh, autocross. That cone was wedged up in the wheel well, and we noticed when we got back, so I got a trophy after all. <laughs> what did you get? That cone. You got the stupid award for missing the corner. I got, I got the dunce hat. Yeah. Cool. A-bodies here. You guys specialize in A-bodies? I mean, that's what I'm seeing most. A-bodies are my favorite, personally. Yeah, see mine is They're noble. They're... You know, just take them anywhere. There we go, 71 or 70. Two. 71 or 2. 2, yeah. 3, 4, I think. The next one, 4. I like, I like that. I like the, the front end on that. Yeah. One's and twos. I just, I just got to a real road runner 383 grabber car. Oh, four nice. speed go wing. Uh, air grabber, uh, the chin spoilers, the deck to phone. It's a pretty cool car, but we got to So it has it the back. mic? What? The mic on it? The, yeah, yeah, that's so I mean, so yeah. cool. You have to defend your tag, so it's so I think G2, it's. 318, Yeah, it's a pretty boring one. Still yeah. just for parts, I mean. Yeah. Like you just don't find them up, but you know, but I mean, up in my neck of the woods, there's nothing. What's this one, like 74? I think that one's a four. It might be a three. Console, automatic. That's a three. Yeah. I got a Roadrunner that needs to be. Jesus Christ, look at that. Look at this nice piece. Same thing, look at the front bumper. Yeah, that one probably was too nice for a parts car, but it has a big issue. There's no VIN tag. It fell off somewhere. I had a title for it and everything. And no VIN. And the VIN tag was missing, and the guy got it from me had no idea, and I was dumb and didn't check before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trucks. What year's that one? 70-something? Four. The, the short, short box? Yeah. Uh, that was a long... Yeah, I mean, I couldn't... That trail duster we got was pretty cool. You got, you stole that too. 45, the guy started at 65 and I said, I don't need it. And then, so that was Friday. And then Saturday I went back and looked. Nope, still don't need it. He was down to 55 and then went back Sunday at noon and the other guy, was it one of your guys, the girl? 
He had the girlfriend with all the tatties. Oh, uh, Chris? Yeah, and he was saying, I got him down to 45. He said, but I don't need it. I got one. I said, well, I told you five. Well, I'll give you 45. He said, so. So anyway, That's right now we're doing, well, we're doing, we're doing the paperwork and we still, it takes three days to get it across the border. So that's why we're, we've sent all the paperwork in and hopefully by the time we get there, because I got to follow Blair because the best border crossing to go across is the Osuyas, right? They get lots of old cars there and they aren't such yeah. sticklers for, for, uh, for detail because we don't want to get there and have to wait a day, right? Cause, right. Because we've still got to make a car show in uh, in uh, Vancouver, so I don't know what we're going to do. Cool. Yep, 66. Six, seven, I always like these cars. out a bunch. I should have kept them. We brought that one out of Sacramento. It is it's super, super solid. But that one, this is a 66 Dodge bucket seat. Sure is. What's it doing sitting out in the rain? You guys are, should be beaten. You if got you knew too many, how many of them? If you knew how many seats I have, yep. do you want some? Uh, I don't even have room to put any in my trailer. Uh, do you got a set for 68 Charger? <laughs> I have 69 with the buck, or with the headrest. Well, actually the 68s was the first year with the, with the option. Do you, like, do, you, do you got a good set of buckets? They're pretty nice, actually. Are they? Yeah, they're at my storage lot. They were gonna go in my Roadrunner. But I might well let him go. Well, I don't need him that bad if you're gonna keep him if you go to Roadrunner. But I mean, it just, I've got a set, but I gotta recover them. Yeah. Cause that stuff's super hard to find up, yeah. in, up in my neck of the woods. I mean, sort of chargers. Yeah. Who was that tall, skinny guy I met? Birdsong, with all the charger stuff? Well, he's the guy that Birdsong got all the chargers off of. He, he told me his- Oh, Clayton. He, Clayton, tall, skinny yeah, guy, yeah. chain smokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, said that Birdsong got most of the chargers out of out of his yard. Yeah. So. You guys know him? I mean, yeah, yeah, he, I he said, Clayton. Mike, you gotta come see my yard. Well, it's the wrong way, man. It can only do so much, right? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna get back home. He has some pretty cool stuff. Do you got any, like, a, you got a mid-66 fender here? 65 to 71 for a truck? Oh, the sweat line? Yeah. I, I, Not right now. No. But give me, give me time. Well, a buddy of mine has got seven trucks, and if his property sells, I'm going to be lowballing him. That's Russell. He owes Matt a bunch of money, so I might just have to take the trucks for Matt and then not pay him. So I Matt and Russell doesn't. That's the plan. We have a plan. What? It's okay, Matt. It's news to you. Doing a good job. Russell will get dealt with. It must be pretty cool working here. Dave seems like a pretty great guy. That's awesome. Guy. Yeah. They call me a bad influence because they were all demo derby guys. Oh, but and yeah, then now, bad, now look at all the race cars. Yeah. Tanner really wants you to see this burnt challenger I have back here. Okay, let's go look. I like yeah. to show him, Tanner. So this is all the new stuff on that side. That, no, that's all derby stuff too. Oh, that's all derby yeah. stuff. It doesn't like look like derby cars are. In heard. fact, if you want, because this is such a gem, you can. Uh, you can stand on it and look over the top. Oh, I don't know. Really oh, there's nothing usable on this. Where's the van you guys got? It's on the other side, and I have the fender tag. This is a real. It's still there. It's a real Encode car. 383. Yeah, HP, and it's still there. So this car, this car was a fully restored car, and it was in the California wildfires. No. There is nothing usable on this car, except the van. Except for the VIN <laughs> and the fender tag. <laughs> I know, that's like totally. Oh, uh, look at like 70. Is, isn't that like a 70 Impala four door there or something? There's, there's a bunch of Impalas. And... Are you guys allowed, allowed to use the, the Imperials here in Canada? They outlawed them. Certain derbies you can. Indestructible. Those are like. <laughs> The front real, subframes. <laughs> there's a really nice 64 four door sitting right there, and it's supposed to run. Hey, Dave, you should be here. This is your kind of yard. Except they aren't rusty enough for us. That's wild. Look at that. Pontiac. Hey, Blair. Where's Blair? You, you could pound this out, eh? Enough to make a race car out of it? Sure. And I haven't seen it. No, I'm not buying it, Blair, but it's just. It was original 38370 Challenger. It burnt in the California fires. Come see, Blair. Come see. How much is it for, is it for sale? What do you think, Blair? Like six hours, eight hours? Come take a good look, Blair. How much that, is it? I mean, it's not that, that bad. You kicked the roof up. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Yeah, 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 it's pretty.
it, it burnt so bad. It got so bad. There's an order. Yeah, I know. Start at the bottom, work your way up. No, start at the shallow, work your way in. Oh, for the low, low price of $2,500. We can fit it on the roof of the trailer. This beauty. No. And I will even provide a blanket for you to put in between it and the roof of your Chevelle <laughs> so you can haul it home. Michael, Michael, I will pay for half of it. Mike, because Mike, Mike, think about it. Oh, think about it. For this, Mike, think, think about it for the channel, honestly. No, not doing it, not doing it, not dragging it home. It's a thousand miles. Puff, you know what? Oh, it's a cream puff. Can't Here's you see the it? Paint it? Here's Big the paint. motor. No. Here we go. I'm going to buy it. I'll send you the money. Okay. Deal. Not okay. okay. Well, here's, here's the best. And then you can pay the five grand hey, to get it. I will, I will sort it out. Oh, check this out. I have to go up to Portland in like two or three weeks. I can't remember whenever the Portland swap yeah. is with the empty trailer because I'm buying two cars up there. So I could get it that far. That's halfway. Mike, Matt, and that go one, ahead, Matt. I, Matt, I can't even get it in the yard. What Mike, I'm not worried about the yard. I'm not, Mike, I have an acre property. Where? In Barrier. Good. We can you store can it there. We can store it there. And do what with it? Look at how excited Blair is. Blair, are you excited? Or are you just about to go and puke? I think it would serve you right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can pay him 500 a day to fix it. No problem, Blair. <laughs> It has the 383 hypo with the manifold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's in great shape. It's a deal. Builder, it's a rebuilding. Matt, it's a deal. It's a deal. We got it. It's a deal. Mike, congratulations! You just bought yourself a Challenger. I want nothing to do with it. The producer of Rust Valley Restores' first car restoration. That's what it is, Michael. I felt that was a really sweet deal. Where else are you going to buy a complete numbers matching 383 Hypo 70 you Challenger said complete. for 2500 It's missing a couple parts, like all the upholstery, a motor, a no, candy, a diff. No, it's not missing. It was burnt. There's still a bunch <laughs> of it in there. there. If yeah, you go look the in there, coils, yeah, the if, if you go look in there, all of the glass is still there. It's just all melted down <laughs> around everything. <laughs> These are both Vegas. Yeah. That one. That one has a Mopar 8 and 3 quarter in it. Really? Yeah. I actually bought a 67 Chevy four-door race car. had a and a 60 in it. I'm hoping it's out of my RT because they both came from the same record. Wow. And then just yeah. No, that's a score. Yeah, exactly. How about how many Dana 60s you got kicking out? Oh. Yeah, well, I got two, and I have two cars that actually came. I have. In. I also have two. Yeah. What are they? What are they? Do you have the car? Do you actually have the cars for them? Do you have uh, a Dana well, 60 cars? I mean, I have my. No, but I mean, do you have a Dana 60 car? Oh, actually, car? we have more than two, because we have the one for that Mr. Norm's uh, six-pack car. Oh yeah. It was a six-pack automatic, but it was coded for the Dana. Dana, yep. And uh, you want to hear something crazy? Yeah. I went and visited my friend down in uh, Sacramento, mm -hmm. and he has a Mr. Norm 71 Charger. And we started looking at it, and it was like identical, code for code for code, other than the color, one digit off. Really? Both Mr. Norm's V code yeah. automatic. Yeah, but I mean, but but okay, but they were like, because they they made a bunch in '71 that were Mr. Norm's, but he didn't actually race them, right? They just called they them. were they were sold by Mr. Norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, and we have the documentation yeah, on it be, because like the one that Blair did for his buddy was raced by Mr. That's Norm. that's. Right, yeah, because it was like a challenger, right? Yeah. So it was I don't I did Mr. Norm actually ever race the seventy one charger or I don't know that they ever had drag, a no, drag no, race, yeah. but they had yeah. a, where the had the Dino Tune sticker on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's this back here? Is that a fifty eight impala? That's what's left of all. Fifty eight down there. What is it? 58 Del Rey. You know what's funny is you walked past the good one to see that one. Well, <coughs> I, just, I just noticed it's a four door. I got a really nice two door there's, post. There's the two door post one right there. I've got, a, I've got one from Cal uh, from Alberta with original paint. Awesome. Right? All the original chrome never been touched. That one's not original paint, but it is um, almost the same color. Original rust. Yeah. Well, that's, we call that patina where I come yeah. from. Mine's got all the chrome and everything. They're cool. Like you don't see many 58s, right? No. Right. What year is this? Uh, These things are all the same up to like 87, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think this one's a 70 something. Um, that actually. Uh, I got one. Supposedly the runs. You bought something from Avery, and you're having a hard time buying something from me. Well, no, but I mean it's got like a five-ton high ab on it, and there's a four-wheel drive. It's pretty cool. Truck, right? It was made for Halliburton up, up, up in the oil patch. Awesome. Jesus. 
PPSC, what was that? No idea. Pacific Petroleum Services Co. Obviously, it sold propane. It yeah, propane? in fact, we use that for our propane. So we have them come fill that, and then we just fill our tank yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For oh, yeah. For office, so. Wow, well, the apocalypse ever hits. You can run a stove for a while off that right. puppy. Yeah. Hey, man, thanks. Thanks, guys, Drawing. for the tour. <laughs> no, there we go. Okay, thanks for the day. <laughs> Thank you, guys, anyway. Hey, it's a thanks. pleasure. Hey, my pleasure. Like I said, this is it's all going to be on the YouTube channel. You kids can <laughs> check it out and Appreciate watch it. it. Yep. Okay. Like I said, hey, you guys ever make it to my neck of the woods? I'm four and a half hours out of Vancouver. So in Vancouver, or if you go to Asuyas, we're about three and a half hours from Oroville, okay. Washington. So, well, I think Dave and I might have to plan a road trip. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah there's some cool junk there. Bring an empty trailer. Uh, oh, oh what? Well, you think I'm gonna buy something? I'll probably fly you in your suitcase. Hey, okay, it's probably easier to go this way. Just bring American I'll, money. I'll I won't give you the exchange away. rate. Oh, <laughs> we got the special 37% American surcharge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nice sunsets. So you guys get a lot of nice sunsets here like that. Mike, are you happy with my purchase? I wash my hands of your purchase. It's not coming in my yard or my shop, I guarantee it.